everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. My name is Jessica, if you're new here, and welcome to my channel. If you like what you see today, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell before you leave so you don't miss out on anything new. Now today I'm gonna to be making these adorable little wine bottle covers to add to your wine gifts this holiday season. I think that they would be perfect to add to a bottle of wine if you are gifting it to a host or hostess of a party, your best friend, or even your neighbor. They are really Really easy to make and affordable, so let's get started. Alright guys, so for the first cover, I am taking this Santa hat I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut the top off of it. Um, I just measured it with my wine bottle to see how far I actually wanted the Santa hat to come down and then I just cut it and then now I'm just gluing the little hem down there underneath the Santa hat to make it look a little bit even and you could just leave it like this if you wanted to, but I wanted to go ahead and use the faux fur from the rest of the hat so I cut that off it was really easy to take apart and then I just hot glued it again wrapping it a little bit underneath and all the way around the hat now the ho 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 will not line up completely on the front of the smaller hat that you're making so there'll be one ho that's kind of on the side but I didn't think that mattered too much I still think it looked really cute and then I just hot glued it at the top all the way around to hold the faux fur in place now I'm taking the rest of the faux fur from that hat and I'm going to create a Santa beard with that and I'm just hot gluing it underneath uh, the bottom of the new hat that I made there and I'm just playing around with it till I get it to the shape that I want it to make it look like a Santa beard. Then I took one of these little wooden beads I got from Joanne Fabrics. I got a huge pack of them um, and they only cost me a couple dollars because I used a coupon for them and I just glued it on to his beard underneath the little bottom of his hat to make it look like a nose and I think this turned out so cute um, it only cost me a dollar and then like I said the bag of beads but I'm gonna use the beads for something else so I think this is well worth it for the next covers, I'm gonna use these two plushies from Dollar Tree, and this one is super easy. All I did was cut the bottom out of this snowman here, and I took the stuffing out of the snowman and turned him inside out, and I wanted the stuffing to stay in his hat, so I used the extra fabric from the hat from the last cover and cut a circle out of that and attached it to the top of the inside of the snowman to keep the stuffing in. Now his legs and feet had stuffing in them but they were sewn together so I didn't have to do that for this snowman. I just turned him right side in and he was done. And then I did the same thing for the Santa Claus. I took the stuffing out but his legs legs and arms and hats were all um, not sewn together so I didn't want the stuffing to come out of those so again I took the extra fabric from that hat I used before and I just cut little circles and hot glued them to the top of the inside of the Santa Claus there and then I turned my Santa Claus right side in and that was it these were all finished I just slipped them over the wine bottles and I think these turned out so cute and they were so easy to do. Dollar Tree also sells an elf version of these plushies and I think that would be so cute to add to this little set here and it would be a great little trio to um, gift to someone. All right, guys, so for the last one, I kind of have to admit I cheated on this and I did not use Dollar Tree items, but this is still super affordable. Um, I'm making one of the like Scandinavian gnomes um, that is super popular. And all I did was pick up three pieces of felt from Joanne Fabrics and they were like 30 cents a piece, which is really affordable. And I'm taking the felt, a piece of it, and just starting at the corner there, at the top corner, and then I'm just rolling it and hot gluing it until it's like a cone shape. And that was really easy to do. Um, and then I found 
found this like faux fur from Joann's and it was like $3.49 and I used a coupon on it so it was only like uh, $2 and something after I used the coupon and I'm gonna use that for his beard before I put his beard on though I did take one of those wooden beads that I got from Joann's with the coupon and attach it to his hat with some hot glue for his nose and then all I did for his beard was just attach it on the underneath on the inside of the hat with some hot glue and then I cut it into a triangle shape and I made three of these and I think that these are so cute I love the little Scandinavian gnomes I have never seen them before this year and they are so popular and these ones were so easy to make and so affordable and I think they would be great gifts uh, for this holiday season for the wine bottles. All right, guys, I hope you like these wine bottle covers. I think they turned out really cute. So that is it for today. Make sure to like, comment, and share this video. And if you're gonna try these out, I would love to see them. My social media and email is all linked down below in my description box. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, bye-bye.